And Governor Darius Ishako of Taraba State has expressed concern over unethical activities of some social media users, which he believes is a threat to the nation's democracy. Speaking at the swearing-in ceremony, uh, swearing-in of 12 uh, permanent secretaries, Governor Ishako distanced executive arm of government from the internal crisis in the State House of Assembly. He said that though there were provision for freedom of speech in the nation's constitution, such rights should not be abused on social media. Our correspondent Ola Bedinusi compiled this report. Taraba State recently trended on social media with reports that the governor's wife was involved in the recent crisis in the state assembly. Governor Darius Ishaku and the PDP state chairman were accused of being co-conspirators who fueled the crisis. The governor has since come out to deny this, insisting that what happened in the House of Assembly was purely a legislative matter, which the executive arm of government played no part in. He is not comfortable with what he describes as blackmail on social media and wants a policy enacted that will protect innocent citizens from undue attacks. It's no privacy as your activities will be daily scrutinized by the praying eyes of the public, especially the now most hated social media, which has become a big nuisance that watches over everybody, either nicely, but particularly badly. They report all kinds of rubbish in the Facebook, in the social media. The former Minister of Power and Productivity, Joel Ikenya, and the People's Democratic Party State Chairman throw their weight behind the hate speech regulation bill. We are in a free society, and uh, that is freedom of speech. I think that is why the National Assembly is trying to, 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 to give off another new law. These are fake news. These are hate speech. I believe that it's a, a zero black men, but I have forgiven those who have, uh, have arranged this kind of black men. I'm here because I am a member, former member of the House of Assembly, to attend, uh, to watch what they are doing. Some two months back, you have heard what uh, the, the social media formulated light against Mr. President and his family. So don't rely on social media. That is a lie. There is no crisis in PDP in Taraba State. You, we have one family, and we, st we still remain family. You can see they are all full here. So I uh, debunk that. The simmering political crisis in the State House of Assembly was doused when Governor Ishaku's political son, Abel Peter Dia, resigned as speaker on what are termed personal grounds. Governor Ishaku has appealed to the lawmakers to put their house in order, despite claims in certain quarters that the executive arm of government initially stirred the crisis, which eventually consumed many principal officers.